do I have all the answers? The answer's no. Um, the, it seems a bit odd, the perception some people have. Look, the the knowledge and experience I share is what I've done. It's my way I deal with it. It's, you know, like, for example, we're talking about those expat um, beggars. They're more con artists. See, the, see, there's a difference. Now... There's a couple of expats I've took out to the Middle East when they hit hard times and I got them work, I helped them sort themselves out. There's people I paid bail for um, and then they've had to pay me back in, in installments because they've been financially broke. Um, but at the same time, when somebody is constantly hitting you for cash on a daily basis or doesn't even know you and asking you for money, then I don't have sympathy for these guys um, because... For them, firstly, they're not broke. Um, they may have a drug habit, but financially they're not broke. They're just chancing their luck. They go to the malls, they're looking for people to make money off. They, they'll hang around you. They'll be your neighbor. They'll go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you couldn't lend me a 1,000 pesos to next month or whatever. And then next month comes, oh, I haven't got it. Can it? Then they have no intention of paying you back. No. One of the first things that I will say is your your word is your bond. If you lose that a day one with somebody, what what does that say about you? You've got you've got no respect. You've lost it. And um, these people that will do this just to make money for themselves, they're not they're not um, hard up as such. They're just going through life living off other people. No sympathy. I, I, that's my personal view. If you, you know, think, oh well, they they've hit hard times. Some of these people have been like it all the time. Uh, they, it's nothing to do with their um, hard luck. It's to do with the fact that they've gone through life making that choice to live off others because they see them as easy prey. I had a junkie in the UK did this before. Um, he would knock the door and ask for a cup of sugar and stuff. And and I found he was actually burgling half the, the area. Um, eventually, we had him jailed. Um, I assisted in having him jailed. But then when you talk to the neighbours, you find out he's borrowed torches, screwdrivers, everything. Before he moved to our area, because this is uh, the problem with social systems, is they lie to the estate agent, um, the rental agent, saying that um, <laughs> this is quite funny, really. Um, his probation officer brought brought him for the rental, and they basically said, "Well, you referred to him. You know, you you were his referee." It's, oh yeah, but I'm a probation officer. Yeah, but you didn't say he was one of your clients. He is was just out of prison because that would actually void your reference because the guy is an unknown prolific thief. So, I do speak from experience. Um, that guy's stolen from everybody. I mean, even posted syringes through my door uh, where my daughter used to put her shoes on. The guy was a junkie. You know, him and his friends would shoot up. And he thought it was, you know, funny to post needles through people's door um, letter boxes. Um, so, no, I have very little sympathy for these types of people. The parasites. There's no other word for it. Um, they don't value other people. That's that's one of the key things here. They do not value other people. But I speak from my own experiences and knowledge. Um, so if I say, "Oh, this is this," is because I'm saying in my you know like that. It's my opinion, and that's why I don't like them. Um, because they're abusing people's trust, they're abusing people's uh, respect, they're abusing people's um, humanity because they're just seeing them as easy prey. They, they could even have a chuckle behind your back at it. That's, that's my own opinion. <laughs> but at the same time, when I say something like... Um, where I'd recommend to go in Cebu or where to live is because these are my personal choices, where I think would be better for an expat to stay and get used to an area, etc. Because I'm talking from 
not my experience, but the people I know, where people have bought a house in this area and then decided six months later, because they're, they're wise from that area, but then finding that the street market's on the doorstep, and it's too loud, and then they come up to where I live, and it's a bit quieter, etc. They'll go, oh, I wish I'd moved here. It's that sort of thing. So I'm speaking from experience, you know, and it may not be my experience, but it's from other people's as well. Because what happens is we talk, you know, we, we sit and compare notes and go, oh, well, you know, the dog's always barking next door. Um, somebody keeps letting fireworks off or I've got a neighbor that's building fireworks, homemade fireworks, you know. These things are the conversations we have. I mean, some of this stuff I don't even mention because it seems so bizarre if I put it on YouTube. But there are so many things that go on in the Philippines you wouldn't believe. And you can only experience it with your own eyes. Um, I'll give you an example. A guy was accused of a murder a few years back. And we met up in the UK. And he, he met me to thank me for helping him with the case. Um, because I knew he was innocent, because being in the area, I went and mapped out the, the location that they said all oh, this happened, and it just didn't make any sense. Um, but on top of that, he said, you know, he wanted to thank me, but it was like a double-sided thing, because he could talk to me, because I understand, I've been there, I've experienced the things that go on, because people in his day-to-day -day life, do not understand. Well, if you talk about stuff that goes on in the Philippines, they would think you're mad. There was how would that that wouldn't make any sense. Why why would somebody do that? It doesn't make any sense. because it's not from the same reality. It's not the um, it's not the way people see things. They only have one perception, and it normally involves a remote control and a little box on the wall. It does not involve thinking out the box. It does not involve experiencing and be, having an open mind. It involves this is the only thing that happens, which is why um, the perception of being married to a Filipino is often seen as male order brides, etc., because that's what the TV says. Yet that's a 80s phenomenon. Yeah, things have moved on since then. Um, most of the women I know would only marry foreigners of a similar uh, standing. They're not interested um, in just going to the West. You'll see a lot of people say, oh, well, they just want a passport. And None of the women I know do. I mean, I mean, it's like us. If we decide to go back to the Philippines, we, we could do. It's not, <laughs> you know, it all depends on the circles you move in. Um, and this is what I'm saying. It's all about perceptions and sharing knowledge experience and stuff if i say this is what's happened this is what's happened if then you go well i don't believe that i don't care i'm not being funny and it's not me being arrogant i'm just saying this is what happened. i can't sit there and argue with somebody um over whether it's right or wrong it, it's what's happened that's it you know and that, that's why it may sound arrogant sometimes but i'm not being arrogant it's just that i'm very specific um, I talk from experience and stuff. If if I wanted to do it all on theory, um, then you want something like the, uh, what do you call that book? Uh, the Rough Guide and, the, you know, the outdated books. Um, they'll give you a happy view of everything. Um, I I don't do it. I just say things as they are. Right. It's what I do in work. It's what I. It's me. I'm an engineer. At the end of the day, we don't beat around the bush. We generally just say things as they are, um, because at the end of the day, everything is done for a certain reason. Engineers are naturally methodical and looking for solutions to problems. So as such, you need to identify a problem. If you can't identify a problem, then you will never find a solution because you can. Um, walk around it um, and never actually see what's right in front of you to keep everybody happy and at the end of the day that's stagnation and as an engineer I don't like stagnation um, I like fixing things <laughs> thanks for watching